Hi, I'm Austin Hill. We're sitting here at the uh, Everlast booth. We're gonna show how to weld titanium properly, and then we're gonna show the most common mistakes that people make whenever they weld titanium. This is what we're gonna be using for purging titanium. These are silicone plugs by TIG Aesthetics, and we also have a billet adapter by Goki's Garage that makes these quick disconnects, which makes it a ton easier. All right, first we're gonna hook up the purge. <laughs> We're gonna put it into our material. What? And then while this is purging, get all our equipment ready. We are purging this piece 12 to 15. Put about four tacks around it. All we wanna do is seal the joint nicely. And now we're gonna get ready to weld. Can you see it pretty well through there? I mean, I it's pretty dim. I mean, it's only like 30 some amps. That's like, I was looking at 37 amps. I mean, that is yeah. low. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, the rest, I mean, the whole thing's welded at that low of amps. This is a proper titanium weld. It uh, has very minimal coloring. It's pretty even throughout the whole entire weld. And we got a pretty flat bead appearance, which means we had a lot of metal that penetrated through with the filler. And we're going to finish welding this, not purge, to show you the difference, because the inside is fully welded through, good penetration, and very minimal color on the inside as well, and you'll see the difference whenever we go to weld it without gas on the inside. Like, the bead, like if you had enough gas coverage on the outside, it would look to you as if there's no difference, but the way it actually welds with no gas on the inside is completely different. You can like tell whenever your purge is in high enough. It's actually very interesting. It like pops up the weld instead of feeding it down in. All right, so we're gonna talk about some common issues that people run into whenever they're welding titanium. One big thing would be not enough gas flow on the outside, which would cause all these colors and this is gonna make a weld fail. This is not correct. You don't ever wanna see white in titanium, and you wanna be mostly colorless, try and keep it like gold if you can. And then another big issue is whenever someone doesn't purge, you can see on the inside, it turns white and it doesn't penetrate whatsoever. Whenever you have your purge set correctly, you'll see almost the identical outside weld on the inside and that's a proper bead. You can almost tell whenever your purge isn't set right because you'll notice a difference in the bead profile. The bead will actually raise up whenever it's not penetrating because the filler isn't actually going inside, it's just staying all on top. And then whenever you pe actually penetrate and your purge is correct, it'll be a pretty flat weld. Yeah, and that's it.